Good morning, Walnut Hill. My name is Lynn Bauman, and it is a joy to be with you this morning for your first 20. We are continuing in our theme of compassion, and this morning's reading is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 10, one of my favorite scriptures. Let me read it to you. Though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord who has compassion on you. The word compassion means to have a deep sense of sympathy and sorrow for someone who is suffering, along with a strong desire to alleviate that suffering. And in this passage of scripture, God is speaking was speaking to Israel and I believe he's speaking to us today and he wants us to know that in the midst of our own suffering he responds to us out of his compassionate nature and that compassionate nature is one of of tenderness and of mercy and of kindness he responds to us in our suffering because he wants to he wants to alleviate it he doesn't take it away sometimes but he wants to alleviate it and by doing so, he promises us two things. And he promises us that one, his unfailing love will not be shaken. We can stand on that promise that there is nothing that can take away God's unfailing love for us. That is a promise that we can always hold on to. And number two, his covenant of peace will stand firm in our lives. And again, any suffering that we are going through, God's promise to us is that his peace will be with us. And so I just love this compassionate nature of God. I love his tenderness and his mercy and his kindness towards us. And that's how he responds to us in the midst of our suffering. I don't know what you're going through today, but I pray that as you read this passage of scripture and that you spend time listening to the Lord, that your heart is just comforted by his promise to you that his unfailing love and his covenant of peace is extended towards you today.